So guys, for the first method, if you're using an external keyboard, then you want to unplug it and then plug it back in again. See if that works for you. For the second method, you want to go to search and type in CMD. Now, you want to run it as administrator. And then click on yes. And then once we're on this, you want to type in msdt.exe space dash id space keyboard diagnostic. And then click on enter. And now this will come up, the keyboard troubleshooter. Click on next. Wait for this to load. And then once that's been done, if it detects any problems, it will try to fix it for you. See if that works. For the next method, you want to go to search and type in settings. Click on it. And now once we're on this, on the left hand side, you want to click on accessibility. And now we're going to scroll down until we find keyboard. Here it is. You want to click on this. Make sure that you have sticky keys, filter keys and toggle keys all turned off. For the next method, if you have a keycap puller, then you want to use that to take out the keys from your keyboard. You want to clean all of the dust and the dirt that's in your keyboard and on the keys. And then put the keys back on and then see if that works for you. For the next method, you want to go to search and type in device manager. Click on it. And now once we're on this, you want to expand keyboards. Now you want to find your keyboard. You want to right click on it. And then click on update driver. And then click on search automatically for drivers. Make sure that you have the best drivers for your device installed. There may also be some keyboard drivers that you can find online for your keyboard. So for example, I have a Logitech keyboard, so I can either download the Logitech app to update my drivers through there, or I can search up on Google, Logitech keyboard drivers. You can install that and then see if that works. For the last method, just do a restart of your computer. Come back into Windows and then hopefully this will not fix your problem.